Okay, so this is a set of notes on what we call a P-series. And in the P-series, we have an infinite sum where we're going to take the sum of things where you have 1 over, okay, then n is the moving part to the same power. So this is going to be like 1 over 1 to the P plus 1 over 2 to the P plus 1 over 3 to the P and it just keeps going. Okay, so we get a theorem here that tells us that if that p is bigger than 1, then we know that the series 1 over n to the p converges. Now we're not going to go deep into this. Um, proving that takes a little bit of work. We're going to just ask you to accept that. Um, if at some point you want to prove it, you can, but I'm going to leave that to you. But the nice thing about this is that we also get a rule for divergence. So if the P is bigger than 1, we get convergence. But if P is less than or equal to 1, we get divergence. Now note, if P is equal to 1, this is just the harmonic series, and we know that that diverges. Um, but if P is less than or equal to 1, we're going to get divergence. All right, so let's give a couple of quick examples here. If I have the sum from 1 over n to the 3, so this is like 1 over 1 to the 3rd plus 1 over 2 to the 3rd plus 1 over 3 to the 3rd, and it keeps going. Because P is greater than 1, I get convergence with this series. And in a second example here, if I take 1 over n to the 1 third, right? So this is like 1 over 1 to the 1 third plus 1 over 2 to the 1 third plus 1 over 3 to the 1 third. This has a situation where p is less than or equal to 1, and I get divergence. So we like the P-series because you can almost just look at it, look at the value of P, and determine whether or not it converges or diverges. So this is going to be one of the easiest series types that we work with. All right, thank you.